These are the first charges coming from special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into whether there was a possible coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia during the uh, presidential election. Now, among those charged, Paul Manafort, the president's former campaign manager, and Rick Gates, the deputy campaign manager. And there's a third man, George Papadopoulos, a foreign policy advisor who has pled guilty to other charges and has been cooperating with the investigation for months. Paul Manafort turned himself in at the FBI's Washington field office this morning following the indictment against him and his business associate Rick Gates. Both entered not guilty pleas to the one dozen counts filed against them, which include conspiracy against the United States, false statements and conspiracy to launder money. President Donald Trump was correct. There is no evidence that Mr. Manafort or the Trump campaign colluded with the Russian government. The 31-page indictment alleges that Manafort and Gates moved money through hidden bank accounts. More than $75 million allegedly flowed through the offshore accounts. The indictment also identifies George Papadopoulos, a campaign foreign policy advisor, shown here with Mr. Trump in a meeting the president described as, quote, my national security team. Papadopoulos pled guilty to charges that he coordinated with Russian agents during the campaign and lied about it to authorities. It doesn't have anything to do with us. The White House is distancing itself from the indictment. White House spokesperson Sarah Sanders saying most of the Manafort and Gates alleged illegal activities occurred before the 2016 campaign. And of Papadopoulos, Sanders says this. This individual was the member of a volunteer advisory council that met one time over the course of a year. This morning, the president responded to the indictment news on Twitter, writing, sorry, but this is years ago before Paul Manafort was part of the Trump campaign. But why aren't crooked Hillary and the Dems the focus? Meantime, this afternoon, Bernie Sanders speaking out. I hope very much that President Trump fully understands that he will not interfere or try to obstruct this investigation. Now, the charges against both Manafort and Gates do not directly reference allegations of collusion. Both men are being released to home confinement. Manafort is being released on a $10 million bond and Gates on a $5 million one. Live in the newsroom, Giovanna Lada, ABC. Thank you, Giovanna. In an eyewitness news exclusive poll conducted by Survey USA, we asked, what do you think of Trump's decision to hire Paul Manafort as campaign manager? 15% say it showed good judgment. 54% say it showed bad judgment. But 32% say they don't know enough to say.